Red has revolutionized the cinema camera industry in many ways. Previously, when we used to think of cinema cameras, we used to think about the high price and bulky size of them. But with the Komodo, Red has made cinema quality cameras accessible to beginners, both in terms of price and size. The Red Komodo has some impressive features, like it is compact and literally fits in the palm of your hand. You can also shoot 6K with its global shutter sensor. However, there's still some issues that you should know if you intend to buy this camera. And in this video, we will cover all the significant features and downsides of the Red Komodo. So with that being said, let's get started. Looking at the Komodo, the first thing that you will notice is the compactness of this camera. Usually cinema cameras come in big sizes. But Komodo is like a mini cine camera. It measures 4 inches on each side and weighs only 2.1 pounds. It comes with a Canon RF mount, which reduces the flank distance from the back of the lens to the sensor and lets you attach a range of adapters and speed boosters. As we all know, the RFs are top-notch lenses that now you can attach to Red Komodo. But if you want to utilize the EF mount lenses, you can also do that with an RF to EF adapter. There are two built-in microphones to ease recording audio while shooting. You can also utilize the 3.5mm microphone jack placed on the body to get more high-quality audio. Additionally, there is also a 3.5mm headphone jack for your convenience. With the power outboard, you can supply power to the camera externally. On top of that, you'll also find an SDI for providing inputs to the production system and an extension port for utilizing GPI and timecode. The Red Komodo features a 19.9 megapixel Super 35 CMOS sensor. The sensor also includes a global shutter. And if you're aware of global shutters, they are not usually found on standard cameras. A global shutter means no rolling shutter effect, no jello effect, and no distortion when shooting fast moving objects or while panning your camera quickly. Now let's talk about the use case of a global shutter camera like Red Komodo. As there is no rolling shutter effect, this camera is perfect for use in highly shaky situations. So you can use it as a crash cam or on the car mounts while filming. Besides, the small form factor also makes it a perfect camera for gimbals and drones. Additionally, there's an optical low-pass filter that helps reduce aliasing and moire effect. Most of the cinema cameras require an external monitor to work with. However, Red Komodo comes with a 2.9-inch touchscreen top display that eliminates the need to use an external monitor. Still, you can attach one if you want a bigger view of what you're shooting at the back of this camera. There are two Canon BP900 series battery mounts, which allow for using a Canon BP955 battery that is about 4900 mAh. Alternatively, you can also use BP975, which is rated at 7350 mAh. The Red Komodo comes with a phase detection autofocus system. However, the autofocus doesn't have phase detection or eye detection features. So you might have trouble focusing on human subjects precisely. But the overall autofocus performance is not too bad. There are two modes in autofocus, single and continuous. And they work adequately well. You might also use this camera for shooting YouTube videos if you're a high-end content creator. And yes, that's also pretty convenient as you can sync the camera with the Red app and tap on your smartphone to tell the Komodo exactly which point you want to focus. And as a phase detection autofocus system, it will not disappoint you. As for videos, this camera can shoot full width 6K videos at 40 frames per second and 5K at 48 frames per second. Other than that, you can also shoot 4K 60fps and 2K at 120fps for slow motion videos. However, you'll experience a cropped-in view if you shoot at more than 40 frames per second frame rate or in lower resolution, which might or might not be an issue depending on your situation. Do you really need 6K while filmmaking? Well, yes, you do. Shooting in high res like 6K has some advantages. For example, those extra resolutions will let you crop a little to get stabilized footage. Moreover, you can also zoom in post-production with 6K resolution. Apart from that, the Red Komodo can shoot RAW and ProRes into CF Express 2.0 cards. Red's native RAW, popularly known as R3D, can be recorded at any resolution, from 6K to 2K, 
But if you're shooting in ProRes, you're limited to only 4K and 2K. But the ProRes mode is basically a downsample of the 6K version. So if you don't want the cropped view while shooting 4K, it might be the way to go. On top of that, there are three recording modes while shooting RAW, HQ, MQ, and Low Q. The HQ mode is for highly detailed scenes that you will use in VFX. And for non-VFX, TV, and online contents, you can opt to MQ mode. And LQ is when you're planning to shoot for long hours, like an interview or a concert. According to the official statement, the Red Komodo provides 16 plus stops of dynamic range. Though we're skeptical about the 16 plus dynamic range, you're assured of getting the cinematic look that other Red cameras offer. Besides, the Red Komodo is insanely capable of retaining details in highlight and shadows, thanks to an exclusive algorithm this camera features. So that was all about the Red Komodo. Overall, it is a compact cinema camera with many features that are more familiar to the regular DSLR or mirrorless users. So the Red Komodo is basically a good entry point for people just starting their filmmaking career. It has many impressive features like 6K recording, autofocus, top screen, built-in microphones, and the global shutter is the cherry on top for this camera. So what are your thoughts about the Red Komodo? Let us know in the comment section.